I'm going to show you how to fix this Sony TV that stops responding to commands or freezes. As you can see, I can turn the TV on. We have our logo. But once it boots in, I can't change the volume, the inputs, the channel. I can't even turn the TV off. And I'm not getting any response whatsoever from my standby light either. Now this type of failure is actually pretty simple to diagnose because it's almost always going to be a defective mainboard. So my first step is to open up the TV so we can take a closer look inside. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Nick. I started Nick's TV repair about a decade ago and since then we have fixed over 28,000 devices. As you can see, we only have three circuit boards. We have the power supply on the left and that one is where the power that goes to the wall plugs into. So that one's easy to identify. We have our main board and the way I identify it is with all the HDMI and other input jacks on the side. And then finally we have our T-Con board, which we won't be worrying about that one today. Let's remove the main board out of circuit so we can take a closer look at it at our workbench, but be very gentle with the ribbons and I'll show you how to remove those in a second. So we're going to start with this top connector. I'm going to put pressure downwards on this top clip and wiggle out the connector. For the top ribbon, I'm going to be putting pressure on this white latch right here. So I'm going to put pressure and wiggle out the ribbon. For this one, we're not putting pressure in the center, but instead we are putting pressure on the outsides. There are two little black pins, so we're going to push those down and wiggle out. For this connector, we're going to press the sides and wiggle out. This one is a top latch mechanism, and now we can remove the screws. Now be gentle when you lift the board out because some of these paths can be sticky and stick to the back of the board. The common part that fails on these main boards is the EMMC chip and that one is right over here. For those of you wondering, EMMC means Embedded Multimedia Card. What it is is essentially a hard drive or an SD card that is simply soldered directly onto the circuit board so it can't be easily removed or replaced. This EMMC chip holds all of the operating system software so if the software gets corrupt or if the chip itself starts to malfunction then the whole TV will start to have a variety of different faults such as it will turn on but then won't respond to the remote, can be turned off, freezes, it could be a more advanced issue such as the TV won't boot past the logo or the TV might actually be completely dead. The unfortunate thing with these EMMC chip failures is that we can't easily identify the faults without removing them from the circuit board first. So that's what we're going to be doing using our rework machine. The EMMC chip is a BGA type chip which is an acronym for ball grid array. A ball grid array is a reference to the way the chip is soldered down onto the board, which you will see in just a moment. The rework machine will heat up the board from both the bottom and the chip from the top simultaneously and very precisely until it reaches the solder's melting point. Once it does, we can remove the chip off the board. We have now reached the end of our profile, which means we can remove the chip. we are going to use our easy JTAG programmer to read the chip and identify the remaining life. There is one specific metric we want to look closely at, which is our multi-level cell lifetime. As you can see, it is saying it has exceeded its maximum estimated device lifetime, which tells me the software on the EMMC chip wasn't corrupted, it's the EMMC chip itself that has failed and of course needs to be replaced. We've already programmed a replacement chip off screen with proper factory reset software, which we will install next. First, we need to prep the board by removing all the old solder and cleaning the area. Now that we've finished replacing the EMMC with a brand new one, we can go ahead and install the main board back into the TV. Now for the installation of the ribbons, we're simply going to slide them in. We don't actually have to engage any of the locking mechanisms. We just slide them in. Okay, and it looks like our set is turning on. Okay, and it's saying we don't have an input, so no signal, which is normal. We don't have anything connected, but can I control it? It looks like I can. I can adjust the menu. I wasn't able to before. Can I change inputs? I can. Okay, this is good news. Can I bring up the menu? 
and it looks like I can. So that does confirm we do have a successful repair. If you have a Sony mainboard that you would like to send in for us to fix for this advanced repair, we do offer flat rate services, which come with a one year warranty. Those are gonna be available on our website, which I will link in the video description down below. If you found the video helpful or useful, leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.